In today's video, we're revisiting every Yu-Gi-Oh! pack era. What's up guys, we're back with another epic old school opening that's also gonna have some newer stuff as well. Before we hop into it, giveaway. I'll be giving away this Magic Jammer BCCG. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and then let me know down below which was your favorite era of packs. Let's get into the opening. All right, so you might be wondering what I mean by eras of packs. I mean the different ways that Konami has structured the packs, such as having collector rares inside or starlight rares or ultimates and ghosts and all that different stuff. So we're gonna start off with a collector rare pack. So we have Tactical Masters. So these are side sets, not considered main sets. So not necessarily needed, not like necessary to be included. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to do a pack trick on that. Yeah, don't necessarily need to include these, but I figured we throw a couple in because oh, there's a super rare. We do know about these. And I have a few of these laying around, so why not? We have Maze of Memories. Can we get ourselves something good? We do need to do two from the back here. There's other eras such as Starlight Rares that we're, are gonna be coming up next. We have Treacherous Trap Hole. Photon Orbital, can we get something? Oh, that's pretty good. Solemn Judgment Super Rare. Just a super, but an awesome card in terms of value. All right, our last collector of pack. I figured we'd just do a few because we have a lot when it comes to the old school stuff. I figured you guys would want to see the most out of the old school. So I did that for you guys. We have a uh, Bear Blocker, Duelist Alliance, Reckless Greed, the Imperial Iron Wall, Runic Allure, and we have a Valence World. It's always Valence out of that set for some reason. Then we have the OTS pack. So this is one that I figured I'd throw in OTS 19. This set includes commons, supers, and ultis. That's it. That's all they include. So it's a little bit different. The OTS is uh, the only ones that did that. We're not going to be opening like every tournament pack because those are all different, but we're opening one, which is a little bit, you know, kind of a representative. We have the Knight Assailant and we have uh, a mask token, which looks like that dude from Jabba's Palace. You guys know if you watch Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary in theaters the other day, like I did. All right, the next era, which is still going on, the main sets with the Starlight Rares. I guess soon we're going to have a 25th anniversary main set, so we'll be, have to include that in a future video. Blazing Vortex. So inside here, the reason I want to open this set is because the pop of prosperity secret rare and starlight rare those are really the cards that you want out of here not too much other than that but we're gonna attempt to pull something crazy ojama pink that's a funny card dogmatic genesis giga thunder we have reinforcement the armor dragon and the emr super rare all right next up and by the way i was going through the, my packs and trying to figure out what i was going to do you know for the 200k since i don't remember if i told you guys for sure but we're opening 200 packs like 200 really nice packs for the 200k special and i was separating some as i went and uh, some of these were, I, I kind of like split up some of these. So some of these really good ones, I put some in the 200K special. So uh, if you guys want to see what I've put together, this is super rare for the 200K special when I've done like, all right, what 200 packs are we opening? Maybe I'll do that for a video. Let me know in the comments. All right, we have a couple more Starlight packs, like Eternity Code first at. So I bought some of these packs loose and I don't think we pulled anything in the first like 12 pack. Okay, so that's... uh. <laughs> Okay, so we didn't pull any of the first 12 packs. We got some weird backwards cards. I mean, that's a great card, but uh, yeah, not worth too much. So as I was saying, I don't feel too confident about these Eternity Code packs. I would have put some in the 200k special probably because it's a pretty nice Starlight set, but I'm pretty sure that we may or may have got scammed here with these, which is unfortunate. But we have the Flourishing Splash Bait. It's another good card. There's so many good commons in this set that have aged really well. Deep Street Minstrel, Pinpoint Dash, and the AI contact. I will believe that we're not scammed as soon as we pull the Starlight Effect Veiler. <laughs> Let's make that happen. Or literally anything that's not a super rare would be great. Let's see. I don't remember if this was back when you could map the boxes. I really don't remember. I know for a little bit you could just map the Starlight boxes, which is bad. Uh, it was like early on. So these are pretty early. There's an area that is a Starlight Rare, but not this one. That's the super rare version. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that those were, you know, not legit. I mean, they were probably legit. And then, you know, they knew the foils. First Ed Duelist Alliance. This is a 2014 set. So we're talking really old. I've been trying to pull the Ghost Shroud out of here for a long time. I've pulled the cover card before. It's a pretty nice looking card. Uh, Dejin Demolisher, we have Chaos Seed. Portal Palace Swordfish, the Battery Man 9 Volt. That's a pretty crazy card. Shadal Dragon, also a pretty crazy card. And Fishborg Doctor. So same source as Attorney Code, so not really feeling too good about those. That was my last one of those, though. So uh, yeah, I was just going to see if there's anything in there. We have Shadow Specters coming up next. Maybe we can get a Ghost Rare out of here. There is a Ghost Rare that I really like in this set. So let's see if we can do it. Ultimate Rare as well. The Divine Dragonite Felgrin. Pump Princess, a classic. Vampire Kingdom, Skelosaurus, Malus Everest Knife, Numbers Overlay Boost, the Burst Rebirth, and uh, 
Sacred Serpent's Wake, just a comment. So we are on what we call a cold streak to start this video. But that's okay if we save it all for the end. By the way, I didn't admit, I didn't mention that we're onto a new set of stuff when we went to Duelist Alliance. These have Ghost Rares, Ultimate Rares, and Ultra Rares. And actually, this one technically has a Secret Rare inside uh, for the Divine Dragon I fell grant. So it's Secret, uh, Ultimate, and Ghost. The Duelist Alliance, I think they did Ultra in there. These might actually be a little bit newer than uh, Duelist Alliance. I probably did it backwards, but they made it where you could pull a Ghost Rare. You could also pull the Ultimate of the same card, and then you could pull a Secret or an Ultra. They kind of transitioned uh, at some point to Secret Rares. So we have Swords at Dawn and uh, Cha Cha Chan. So these were main core sets. It was like this. So you could pull like Ultis and Ghosts, which was pretty fun. I think when they transitioned to Secrets, that's when they only had like four Secret Rares in the whole set. It was kind of weird. So it was like, Pretty hard to get secret rares because there wasn't a lot of, or maybe it was, no, four ultimate rares. That's what it was instead of secret. Four ulties in the whole set. So there, if you got an ulti, you got one of the four. Okay, next up, this set, Raging Battle, obviously had the ultra version. So this is a lot older, around 2011 or 2010. You get an ultra power tool, an ultimate power tool, or a ghost rare power tool, or all three, who knows? Uh, it wasn't a secret rare back then. One, two, three. Can we get the power tool that we were speaking of? We have Spine Gilman. He's an Edison card. Morphtronic Bind. He's in a bind. Mirror of Oaths. Wonder Clothes, Evil Thorn, crazy good card. Black Whirlwind, also a crazy good card. We have GB Hunter, Berserking, and a Minoan Centaur. We have not pulled a foil yet, guys. All right, next one, Raging Battle. Can we get something? Let's just get a Ghost Rare. Just, you know, from nothing to Ghost Rare. That would be a nice, a nice change right there. Master Gig, Attack at the Cornered Rat, Morphtronic Repair Unit, Morphtronic Vidion, Wicked Rebirth, Quacky Mirror Guardian, Morphtronic Scopin, Dark Verger, very creepy looking card, and uh, Bone Temple Block. So old school packs so far, not too good. And this is a loose pack opening, as you guys can tell. So sometimes those loose pack openings don't start off great, don't even finish great sometimes. So we'll see if we can turn it around. All we're looking for is a couple of really nice cards out of here. I think we had like 28 packs, something like that. So let's see if we can get something good for the end. We have Emissary of Pandemonium, Phoenixian Seed, Miracle Locust. Wonder Clover, Tree Otter, and a Urgent Synthesis, a Raging Battle. I know for a fact I have pulled some stuff from those before, so those were not scaled. It's just, you know, we didn't get lucky there. Now we have Flaming Eternity. This is where they only had ultimates. So it was like supers, ultras, and ultimates. That was it. There was no secrets or anything like that. This is right after Original Duel Monsters. This is the third set after that, 14th overall. So uh, basically all you were getting out of here, you're getting an ulti, you're getting an ultra, a super, rare, or common. That was it. Those are all the rarities. Or you're getting a Rescue Cat, which is an awesome pull probably our best pull so far ironically so uh rescue cat very cool i don't know the pack trick i'm gonna do four mega dog marin marin has a lot of uh lore around the early Yu-Gi-Oh sets space mambo threatening war is crazy dark hex sealed fusion good goblin housekeeping wasn't terrible hex sealed fusion again we got the hyena and a swords of concealing light that'd be a pretty nice ultimate rare as well first dead flaming eternity nice packs but no pulls there all right next pack flaming eternity can we pull the Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. There's also some other really cool ultimate rares in here as well, like Gatling Dragon. Uh, there was another one that I just forgot. One, two, three. There's some pretty solid ones in here. Either Even like retail stuff is really good. We have Ragnarok. We have Earth Hex Sealed Fusion. We have the Elmen Mambo, Space Mambo, Beastle, Refusion, Majigaya Panda, Warwind Prodigy, and a Spell Absorption. That's not one you want to get as an ulti, even though it does look really good in ulti. Last chance with Flaming Eternity First Edition. Come on, give us something crazy. Might as well. I mean, why not? Might as well. Give us something awesome. It's not a very big set, so really all we need is one great card out of here. We have Hex Sealed Fusion. Pole Position is an actual crazy card. And by the way, Oni Tank Rux and 34 on here. We should probably pull that aside with the Oni Tank Rux and 34. Kangaroo Champ. Big March Animals, the Armed Samurai Benkai OTK, Hexfield Fusion, Centrifugal Field, Insect Knight, and a Cross Counter. All right, just a rare there. We are having a pretty rough opening right now. Fortunately, there's a lot of packs left, so we can really pull something crazy to turn around. And this is in the same era. This is the set right after Ancient Sanctuary, where they switch from Secret Rares as being highest ready to the ultimate rare sets. This is just like Flaming Eternity, except it's even earlier. So this is a very, very old set. One, two, three, four. Obviously you can get the Horus, the Black Dream Dragon. So if we pull an ultimate rare first set of one of, you know, level eight, we're gonna lose. There's a Horus, not an ulti. Malastal, we have Unshaven Angler, Taunt, 
Sandwich, which is Black Forest and Sangan making a sandwich. Fusion weapon and a hammer shot. So we actually did pull a hammer shot ulti out of one of these packs. So I guess this is the other pack. I had two. One at Hammer Shot Rare, one at Hammer Shot Ulti. That's pretty cool. Next, I figured I'd throw in a fun pack, the movie pack. Nothing really like this before. I mean, it's just like a common inside. I think you get one. There's four total cards. One of them is Blue Eyes Shining Dragon Common. So hopefully we get lucky and pull it. I don't know where it is, so I'm just gonna... Okay, cool. We can do it like this. There are a lot of these packs out there. This is the original print of Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Actually, it's older than the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, which is insane. Cool. Let's see what we got. I mean, the retro pack, sorry, it, it is a blush right? Older than the uh, retro pack version. So we have the anti or the anti manga Shonen Jump. Okay, very cool. Over 350 pages, your favorite Japanese comments, previews of cards and video games. Very nice. Did we get the blue eyes shining or is it going to be Wadapon, Pyramid of Light or Sorcerer of Dark Magic? Oh, wait, it's not a common. It's a super. I forgot. I was thinking it was a common blue eyes shining dragon. Should we grade this, guys? So this in for grading? I mean, it's not a very expensive card, but it's a very cool card. Blue Eyes Shining, we pulled it. I picked the right one. I had a few of these. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Not gonna lie, the Super looks pretty fire on this, and it's like a dollar. So if you don't want to buy the $1,400 Retro Pack Secret Rare, just take this one. That is officially our first foil, the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon at the movie. A lot of you guys can probably remember going to that movie and pulling that, or maybe not pulling that. Okay, Invasion of Chaos, we're officially into the OG era, the first 11 sets where you got Secret Rares or Top Rarity, then you had Ultra Rares, 10 in the set, and 10 Supers in the set. So we're on to the final era, the original and final era. IOC, this has red banner, so it's not like a, uh, a current, it's not a 25th reprint, it's not a 2017 reprint, not a 2013, 2010, we're before that, so we're pretty old. Granadora, Soul Absorption, Big Odd Knave with a giant hand. Serpent, we have the Chaos End, Big Koala, Thunder Crash, and Afuma Shuriken from Naruto. All right, I'm going to alternate through some of our older packs. We're not going to open them all the same packs in a row. Let's do a Legacy of Darkness Unlimited. So I've had pretty good luck with these Legacy of Darkness Unlimited. Some we've done on Whatnot. We've had some crazy pulls there. Uh, speaking of, go check out my link. You have $15 for free if you sign up there. Uh, we do streams every two weeks-ish, basically. We have Grey Wings. Uh, we have some pretty awesome pulls there. Dragon's Rage, Ryukishin Clown, Heart of Clear Water, and we have the Opticlops. Very nice. Except it's just a rare. And all these commons were bent, unfortunately. That was a uh, that was a rough pack right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the corners were a little bent. All right, let's open a Magic Ruler OG pack. Original 2002 logo. So we're talking like old school 2002. I mean, as old as it gets for Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. I mean, obviously OCG goes a little bit longer, but this is going to be a pretty epic... Uh, pretty epic pack. Let's see what we can get. Electric Snake, Minar. Can we get that Blue Eyes Tune? Flash Assailant, Turtle Oath. We're grading it if it's Blue Eyes Tune and, and you know, centered and stuff. High Tide, even Unlimited. Oh, Ruxin Special. That was just a super Ruxin Special. We got two there. Manga Ryu Ram. We have a couple more Magic Lore. I'm not going to mess those up. Okay. Now we don't have too many dupes left. Let's do our second IOC pack. Can we get Chaos Emperor Dragon? Dark Magician of Chaos, Black Cluster Soldier, not the Soldier of Chaos, Envoy of the End, here we go, Gigantes, Multiplication Events, Terrakin Salmon, Grimaju Day Eyes, I've been using this in the Attribute fuel, uh, Attribute 4 event in Master Duel, it's been pretty fun, Tower of Babel, Fenrir, Crimson, we've got the, oh, Sasuke Samurai, oh, I did three, I shouldn't have done that, Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell, actually an insane card. All right, we have one more Unlimited Legacy of Darkness, then we have a First Ed, too. So if we could pull something crazy, Yada and the Injection Fairy Lily out of these two, it could be crazy. One, two, three, four. We have the Dragon Dwelling in the Cave. Here we go. Spirit's Invitation. Twin-Headed Wolf. Inaba, Ride Rabbit. Throw Stone Unit. Bark a Dark Ruler. Wing Dominion. Burst Breath. And a Spear Dragon, super rare. All right, it's another foil. We are officially not going one for whatever. We're gonna go two for whatever. Very nice, Spear Dragon and Blue Eyes Shining. We're getting a lot of supers today, it seems. And by a lot, I mean 100% of our foils, which is two. All right, Magic Ruler time. If you guys are enjoying this old school opening, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 200K, guys. I mean, kind of almost, or a few thousand away, but once we get there, that video is gonna be one, a marathon. It's gonna be really long but I think you guys are gonna love it. It's gonna be, I mean, a lot of retro pack too. So yeah, I mean, and that's just part of it. There's a lot of other epic stuff too. Ceremonial Bell, Darkness Approaches, Crab Turtle, Snake Fang, Peacock, we've got the Wall Shadow, and a Hero's Shadow Scout. Four packs left, Pharaonic Guardian. Bless us with an amazing common because you have a lot of good ones in here. And then also give us 
an awesome foil pull. Can we get a secret rare lava golem? Ring of Destruction is what I would actually want because we pulled a lot of lava golems. I don't think we ever pulled ring. We pulled like four or five lava golem. Cry you out. We have Buster Rancher. He's going to the ranch. Poison Mummy. Call the Mummy. Charm. Pyro Clock of Destiny. Different Dimension Capsule. Swarm of Locusts. And... I thought we might have got it. Trap aboard a racer, though. I mean, it's a super rare. We are supering it up. That's our third foil of the day. Trap aboard a racer. We're still not pulling crazy, but hey, at least we're getting foils. Three packs left. Let's open Legacy of Darkness first edition. Give us one of those secret rares. That's what we want. That'd be insane. I mean, an ultra would be awesome as well. Really any foil, but a secret rare would be absurd. Life absorbing machine. We have Gradius' option. That's that Gradius card. Lucery gentlemen. A legendary ocean, ominous fortune telling, mysterious guard, stamping destruction, spring of rebirth, and we have a Yamada Dragon Ultra Rare. There we go. That is a heck of an ultra rare. I mean, got that LOD centering. You can see there's a giant side and a small side to the border. Way off center, but hey, I'm super happy about that. Yamada Dragon. Finally, we got something over a super rare. Old school packs have actually been pretty good. It was really the packs before that that really screwed us over, but Magician's Force coming up. Whew. Old school pack, guys. We have had luck recently. Uh, not so recently anymore, but, you know, towards the end of 2022 and the beginning of 2023, we pulled two Dark Magician Girls, which, you know, that is probably never going to happen again for me. That was a, probably as lucky as we're going to get, but I can hope, and hopefully it's not damaged this time. Magical Science, we have Rivalry. It's a good card. Great Angus. I mean, it's also an annoying card. Uh, Destendal, Emblem of Dragon Destroyer. Pixie Knight. Burning Beast. We have Autonomous Action Unit. Also, it's a revival card. It's not terrible. Whew, give us something good. Dark Paladin would be cool as well. Oh, or an Armor EXE. Got to be careful of those EXE files out there. And our final pack, opening for all the eras, but mostly the old school era, which we love on this channel. If you guys have enjoyed this old school opening, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment down below about what you liked about it, or what you didn't like, or what you would like me to uh, maybe change out for a future video. <sighs> Let's pull Blue Eyes Tune. We have a Minar. Flash Assailant. Turtle Oath for that crab. Where's our Hungry Burger? Twin Long Rods. Final Destiny. Penguin Knight. Eekaboon. Queen Bird, and our final card. We've got a few foils today. Let's get a secret. We've got an Ultra. We've got some Supers, and Giant Rats ending with the rat. He's got a skull in his hand, which is a little scary. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Mycycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.